It's being called a tragic event, but a young Alberta bull rider is dead following a rodeo event on the Stony Nakota First Nation Sunday. Paramedics rushed to the event, but the man was pronounced dead, and today friends are remembering him whose life was cut short. Tyson Fedor with more. 19-year-old Seth Soto was an avid bull rider being involved with rodeo for many years. Proud of his accomplishments, he would post videos to social media. But Sunday afternoon at an event, he died from what EMS says was an apparent head injury at the Chiniki Rodeo Grounds. Man, it was just disbelief. Like, it was really hard to even manage to even keep my emotions in place. It was just hard for me to even think that I won't be seeing my buddy Seth anymore. Try and Simon was friends with Soto for about 16 years, both from Masquachese. The pair met at the hockey rink and shared a love for the game. Simon says his friend's passion for bull riding was unmatched. It was the one thing he wanted to pursue in life. Every day we would talk, he would tell me it was either ride or die on the bull. And he wanted to be the next Lane Frost, he wanted to be the next great, great bull rider and one of the greatest from Masquachese as well, and he is. Fellow rider and friend Jacob Totacini, who saw Soto this weekend, says he would give his best to every ride. He was a really great cowboy. I know that his legacy will live on in the rodeo industry. He's not gone and not forgotten. The Indian National Finals Rodeo Commissioner says this was an unfortunate accident and nothing untoward happened that would have prevented it, adding that this was a traumatic occurrence for everyone involved. He always made you smile. When, no, no matter what mood you're in, he would always put a smile on your face. He was so joyful and such a kind person. Always cared about other people's emotions too. He was always there for you. Tyson Fedor, CTV News, Calgary.